My name is Vinay Sharma. I was born and raised in India till the age of 23. And then um, I moved to New York City, started my master's in electrical engineering. Um, I went to Columbia University and then I graduated in 2010 and um, moved to California. I think um, growing up in India as such, it's a very colorful country actually. Uh, to think of it, we have amazing amount of festivals, Holi being the festival of colors that we have, and then Diwali, which is the festival of lights. It definitely did influence my color schemes and choices. And um, I would say, I would have to say, it's a big part of my strong um, color sensibility to implement in my artwork. I, I read this book on Coco Chanel where she introduced black and white. As she says, they're the absolute powerful colors because they have it all. So I've been playing with that a lot too recently and I've discovered that that's something I, I really love because they are absolute colors, they do have it all. Uh, printmaking started for me about uh, a year ago, not exactly a year ago, but a little more than that. Um, I was a painter for a very long time from the age of five and um, I, by profession, I'm an engineer. Printmaking is a very technical process, so when I got introduced to it, I instantly just fell in love with it and um, I think a very um, defining principle of printmaking is that it's a very step oriented process you go from step one to step two to step three um, which is not unlike painting right um, when somebody would ask me what's your inspiration for painting I would just give them a two hour long whimsical answer to stare into the canvas and let it talk to you and you know the whole nine yards of being an artist and going with the flow. But with printmaking, it's like, okay, step one, have your etching ready, step B, ink it, step three, print it. It sort of ties my technical abilities that I put in my work and uh, my art. I was trying to uh, get going with this concept of printmaking with uh, it being very technical in the first place. And then I, I've always fallen in love with large mechanical structures, bridges or, you know, um, Ferris wheels and then shipyards especially influenced me a lot. But I chose Ferris wheel um, as my last work it's because I just love the way the whole thing is engineered. It's a beautiful mechanical structure and I think it just, it sort of resonates with everybody's childhood. So it, 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 it does bring back memories to people where they want to relive their past. Um, I, I had a show in August and I sold 50% of that show. It was, it was a great success. I, I do have a very important uh, international art commission coming up soon in Costa Rica and I'm being flown there in early next year. These are collectors of mine from Sacramento and they have a big um, vacation house um, in Costa Rica so they commissioned me to do a big 8 foot by 8 foot um, print. Actually it's going to be a print making um, uh, body of work which is 8 foot by 8 foot so I'll be working on small works of uh, four foot by three feet, and then I'll be stacking them up to build an entire eight foot by eight foot print. Essentially, there is no idle moment to make time, make art. Rather, when you want to make art, you should just do it. You don't have to wait for, oh, I'm going to wake up at, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning and just make art till four in the evening or do it in the midnight. That It doesn't work that way. I spend a lot of my time away from work when I was not working, really making art. And, and it's, it's a very big discipline in itself, you know, to just go ahead and be dedicated to something that you really are passionate about. My mentor, Tisa Blackburn, who is in San Francisco, she, I would really like to thank her because she's the reason I really took my art to the next level. And um, she brought it out of me being an engineer and she really, I would say, kicked the artist out of me and kick-started the whole process and um, another artist I would like to thank is another resident artist in Art House and his name is Zbigniew um, Kozikowski and um, he's a Polish artist and a fabulous abstract painter who has um, influenced me with his body of work through the colors that he uses and um, the technique that he uses and is an amazing friend and a critique, a very honest critique. Which is hard to come by, and both Tisa Blackburn and Zibig New have really influenced my um, art career as such because they they've given me very honest feedback and um, encouraged me from time to time um, 
as to how I should go ahead and implement the tools and enhance my skill set. So I, I really do thank them for everything they've done.